Hi, this is Kim from Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to show you how to make the flag of Ukraine using either the Alpha Loom or the Rainbow Loom. You can adapt this pattern for any other country that has a flag with only two colors that are in horizontal lines. You want to make sure that you have twice as many rubber bands going across as you do up and down. So to begin, if you have an alpha loom, you'll take your first color and we're gonna flip the flag upside down because we want the loop to be in the top left corner of our flag. You're gonna take your yellow and you're gonna twist it twice and stretch it across the first two pegs. And repeat again with another yellow band, twisting it twice and stretching across two pegs. And again with a blue band. And one more blue band. And for this design, because it's only four pegs across, we're going to want to double over our transparent band and stretch it across the four pegs. Because if you do one, it comes out too loose. So after you've doubled over your clear connector band, then again, do two yellow and two blue. And now I'm gonna repeat the setup on the rainbow loom so that those of you with rainbow looms can make the same exact design. For the rainbow loom, you wanna take two rubber bands at a time. Again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna twist it twice and we're gonna stretch it across two pegs. And we're using two rubber bands at a time with the regular rainbow loom bands to create that thick solid color. The alternative that you have is to take a single band and double it over. And again, we're gonna use a transparent band as our connector across all four of those pegs and then add two rubber bands at a time, matching the color underneath for all four positions. And so that's how you do it on either loom. We have both set up to go. Bring your connector band up and over. Make sure you get both halves of that doubled band. And then use your hook to bring them up and over. Push down another transparent band that we're gonna double over before stretching across all four pegs. And then add your yellow for two positions and blue for two positions and we're going to repeat seven times. For the regular rainbow loom, you'll pull your connector band over the same way and then you just need to bring each of these rubber bands up and over one at a time using your hook. But you also want to Push this one down just like you did for the alpha loom. And continuing the same pattern for seven rows total. And then on the eighth row, we have a slightly different step to do in order to make the finished edge of the flag look the best it possibly can. So I've repeated the pattern seven times for both the alpha loom and on the rainbow loom. You don't need a connector band for the eighth row. You're going to do a single band in the bottom yellow color and then you are going to do three in the top blue color and the same on the rainbow loom except that for the rainbow loom, you're using two rubber bands at a time. Two yellow in the first position and then switching to your blue color for the final three positions. We're going to bring all four bands up and over 
and push it down. And the same for the regular loom, bringing all four up and over. Slide them down. Okay, so now we're gonna take our bands using either your finger or your hook, whichever makes you feel more confident, and move them down one row. And then catch the bands underneath and bring them forward to the next peg. Then you can unhook these two because they are secured. And we're gonna catch the blue ones from here underneath and bring them forward to the next pair on both sides. And then you can unhook these two as well because they're now connected. And we're at this final position where we're going to Grab the blue bands on the bottom and you can bring them forward again for consistency. And now we've got everything together. We're going to create a slip knot, bringing both of these pairs of bands onto your hook and pulling these two rubber bands through the center of those two. And just to help secure this position, I like to bring one of these rubber bands back through the body and up and over the band that you did not pull through. so that you have, again, just this single secure band on your top left of your flag. And you'll do a little bit of tugging to adjust and make it straight. And this is how it comes out on the regular rainbow loom. And as it rests, the, the, as it rests, the colors will pull tighter together. And let's finish off our version on the alpha loom too. So we're going to do the same thing, bringing each band forward one position and then catching the band that's on the bottom and bringing it forward to the next peg. And we'll do that again with this last position, bringing both of those forward. Now all the bands except that last pair can be popped off because they are all secured. So leave that one there. And you can take off on this side too. And so you're left now with just one band. And we're going to take both sides of that band onto our hook. And once again, we're gonna pull through to make a slip knot. This side goes through the center of that side. This is how it came out with two regular rainbow loom bands at a time on the rainbow loom. And this is how it came out with a single alpha loom band in each position on the alpha loom. So you can decide which way you want to make yours. On my channel already is a flag for USA and for Russia, uh, please write in the comments below what country you would like to see me make a flag for next or any other ideas you have for new charms I should make. I really look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.